more for prison reform. So are you telling me you want to make lives easier on our convicted murderers, criminals, and felons? Is that what you're saying? Okay, now I want to say that how did you even get elected senator when you yourself were charged with a felony? Maybe that's why you wanted to make prison life earlier, huh? Easier, huh? And anyway, when you passed the militia bill to prevent black people from getting intimidated at voting booths, it's very likely that the only reason you were elected was because of voter intimidation. I wouldn't want a hypocrite leading our nation, but oh wait, I did lead our nation. I was the president. Now, <laughs> anyway, your own party did not support you. You were a Republican, but the Republicans didn't like you. The Democrats didn't like you. Even the independents didn't like you. You had no support, except for your minority. Your landmark bill, eh. Okay, wait, am I attacking here, or am I answering? Um, you may do both within the one minute, and then I'll open it up to a two minute open. Oh, okay. It's just, so it's, hu it's helpful here. to hear your points separately before you go back and forth and it yeah. gets nuts. Go. Mr. President, <laughs> as you went to Yale, you were part of a lot of interesting social groups. One was a fraternity known as the DKE. As exploring the frat, I learned that frat was rather unofficial. They were sort of charged with branding the members with hot irons, which was illegal, and hazing, which is the practice of harassment, abuse, and humiliation to one person, which is not, which is often prohibited by the law and other university regulations. Not very proper for a Yale man. Also, you were part of the Skull and Crossbones secret society there at Yale. The society did something known as croaking, which is they would steal keepsakes from other societies and even campus buildings. Really? The society was even found guilty of possessing stolen skulls. What were y'all doing with human bones? <laughs> uh, would y'all like to do a two minute open? Sure. Yes. Um, please make sure uh, within the respects of the debate you do have to give each other time to talk. I understand if someone starts in on something and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Filibuster bitch. Um, however, yeah, and you also can't filibuster it. If you're talking too much and you're dominating, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, give it give Jacob, it were you aware that all charges of hazing and bullying were dismissed? Plus, it was an allegation that I was part of the Skull and Crossbones group. It was never even proved. Lie. <laughs> Your son wrote in a book that he was part of the school and cross yes, and the secret fraternity, was. which would also not mean me. that you were. That's not my son. And when being reported by a reporter, <laughs> a reporter, thank you, very descriptive. <laughs> you told them that you were part of the fraternity and that you weren't allowed to say anything about it because that would break the law of the fraternity. Yes, I was part of the fraternity, not the Skull and Crossbones. And in the fraternity, all charges of hazing and bullying were dismissed, which is not a lie. Plus, I was supportive of my son and encouraged him from going away from such groups. What charges were I filed of? Actually, you were charged with felony. What was the felony? <laughs> <laughs> no, you were charged with felony. Bigamy was then overturned felony. because they proved it fake. Yes. Because I was not even married. You were there was also no proof charged, that I was married. You were also charged with disturbing the peace, which was proved, but when appealed in a higher court, was overruled. <clears throat> disturbing the peace? The only reason that no one supported me was because I was black. That was new. That was something new that no one had ever done before. Okay, but what was your global impact? I impacted Africa, and I impacted our nation. All you did was help minority groups in Texas. Texas. This is Texas. This is a Texas debate. And I help Texas as well as our nation and the world. That's a bit of a bigger impact. Oh, you mean declaring war on Iraq after you said that you won it? Oh. Well, are you aware that that was actually persuaded by other members of my party, and I would have lost their votes and possibly been impeached, impeached, which I wouldn't want that if I hadn't declared war. Beep, beep. You may have one reply. No new taxes. You said that you, no new taxes, and then you had no, no new taxes. Can I reply? Yes, minute open. Okay, the reason I said that 